this is actually completely happening on a local machine. The image is there and it has given accurately the output of the image. Thanks to the latest release of Old Llama that supports multimodal support, we can run Lava model completely locally and that can help us do image um, multimodal chat and whatever that you do typically do with GPT-4 Vision. Maybe it is not as good as GPT-4 Vision, but this can actually do a good job if you want to try building local models with multimodal support. The good thing is it supports in CLI and it also supports in API. But first of all, let's learn how to get this enabled for you if you already use Olama. You would see this small icon here that says an update is available. So you have to click restart to update. Once you click restart to update, your Olama will get updated. But if you are completely new, I would link this repository in the YouTube description. You can go here and then install Olama for yourself. And I have a separate video how to install Olama. So I'll also link that in the YouTube description for you to check. Once you install Olama, the very first time you have to run Olama run Lava. So very similar like what I've done here. Olama run Lava. So the first step is either install the latest version of Olama, which I have made a separate video about, I'll link it. Or if you already are a Olama user, just go click here and then click and update is available. When you see that, click restart to update. Once you do that, then you have to go to your terminal and say Olama space run space Lava. Currently, there are two multimodal libraries available. One is Lava. The second one is Baklava. I mean, you can try with these two models. I think the primary difference would be Lava has a Vicuna base and Baklava has a Mistral 7 billion base. So that is the difference here. And you can basically try with both these models and then see which one do you like. I've seen some impressive demos with Baklava. I'm definitely looking forward to try it out. But for now, if you want to start with something easier, try with Lava. Once you do Olama and Lava, it's going to download the model. Once the model is uh, available for you to use, all you have to do is you have to drag and drop. So let me stop it. And uh, okay, I have to say bye and clear it. And I'm going to say Olama run Lava. That means it's going to run the Lava model in the Olama endpoint that we can use even when we are building in Python or any other code. So this is available. So I'm going to pick and get a file for us to use. So I'm going to get this file. So this is the file I'm going to get. This is like 80% plus accuracy, whatever it is. And I'm going to drag and drop the file here. And I'm going to just go here and say, what does it say? That's it. All I'm going to say, what does it say? And I'm going to add the image path here. If you are using uh, the HTTP request, you can again like base 64 encode the image and then send it if you're doing it with the code. So that is like a separate world altogether. You just simply want like a question and answer, like you have an invoice, you want to understand what is in it, you want to do um, OCR, optical character recognition, then this is like the easiest way. It takes a little bit of time. My machine is not an M1 machine. Hopefully I, I might get a Apple Silicon machine in another couple of weeks. I'm really looking forward to it. But for now I've got an Intel machine with which you can just see that it says 80% plus ACC. And you can see that it does a pretty good job in explaining this. It, I just said, what does it say? I didn't ask anything else like describe the image, but when you ask questions like that, it would uh, further do a better job. Like for example, I'm, I'm going to post this image and I'm going to ask a question. So I'm going to get that image. I'm going to first say, uh, describe this image and I'm going to get this image and then paste it here. And it is going to now try to describe the image to me. And I think it does a pretty good job in most of the cases. I'm a big fan of Lava. I've uh, tried Lava before. I've, uh, I'm not sure if I made a, an exclusive video about Lava, but I've uh, been a fan of Lava given that how Lava is good. Like even I tried Lava with one of the Google Gemini demos and Lava kind of came closer. Like I'm not saying Lava is as good as Google Gemini Pro, but Lava came closer. I'm going to make a separate comparison between Gemini Pro and Lava. So if you want to know more about it, please subscribe to the channel and then stay tuned. But for now, this is one of the easiest ways to run multimodal model locally on your machine. And it takes like just a couple of clicks, install Olama um, and download the Lava model. Like I said, Olama run will download the model. Once you download the model, all you have to do is drag and drop the image and it is going to give you a brilliant answer. Like for example, in this case, it is giving me the answer. What is this? This is like, if I, as a human being have to define this, I would say probably like a humanoid um, uh, is uh, trying to act like a news anchor and you have got uh, live breaking news text. Let's see. What does it say? The image features a robotic humanoid with a blonde hair and a blue eyes. 
and it appears to be a news reporter bot as indicated by the presence of a microphone. The robot is standing in front of various scenes displaying data and possibly news headlines. The scene seems to depict an informative settings where the humanoid could be presenting information to the audience. Honestly, this is a brilliant, brilliant demonstration of what local multimodal models can do for you. Uh, once again, I'm not trying to tell you not to use GPT-4, but I'm trying to give you the alternatives how you can run multimodal model locally on your machine. And you can also use this in API. That's the advantage here. So the same can be used as an API. You've got like the sample curl and uh, they have a separate chat API uh, with which you can have the conversation intact. So you can either use it with the normal generate API endpoint or you can use it with the chat API endpoint. And all you have to do is like you have to send the image um, in different formats and you have a truly multimodal model application running within your local machine powered by Lava and supported by Olama. I hope this video, very short video was helpful to you in understanding how to run multimodal model locally. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. See you in another video. Happy prompting.